<laughs> Hi everyone, Andy Granberg here with Stuart Title. As always, with me is Hey Andy, this is Nate Moline. Stuart up in Duluth. How's it going, Andy? Really well. How things up in Duluth? Hey, this is this might be the first time this winter, but I think you got hit by a snowstorm that we did not. Just saying. Lucky. So it's going great. Lucky. Okay, great. So this is our podcast, our video podcast. We do this to help agents and LOs get business. Um, we like to think that's what we do best. We love doing this. Nate, am I right? Yeah, that's the best part about my job for sure by miles. It's it's one of the most fun, like creative ways that we can kind of use our services. Yep, exactly. And um, so our award-winning podcast, we have what now, a, a Grammy for spoken word. And mm-hmm. then we had that off Broadway where we won a Tony too. Maybe <laughs> yeah, we're going. <laughs> yeah, the next is Oscar, but uh, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Short film, right? <laughs> Short film. That would be great. All right, we're gonna have to green light that. I think that's the word they use. Green light. Right. All right. So we'll, we'll get Rick to approve. No, yeah, well, for sure he will. Um, all right. So you know what we're soon to be done with the snowstorms we're out of the polar vortex or povo as us young people like to say is not that a pretty good word no i'll just assume you young people do like to say that yeah yeah you know, povo patent pending by the way i'm gonna i am gonna <laughs> patent that phrase like that's good um but now it's time to get busy the spring market's gonna be right around the corner and uh one way to um get more business which is why we're here for you agents is to have customer appreciation days. And yeah. Nate, tell, give an example of one. So I'm actually getting together with a, a group up here that's doing a, a park cleanup day for a park in Duluth. Wow. It's kind of a really cool idea that their whole brokerage is kind of taking on. Um, they're passing out flyers to like everyone in the neighborhood to, to do a park cleanup day. Um, it's just one way of getting out, kind of telling people that we're invested in this neighborhood and we want to help you out for helping us out. Um, just thought it was a really cool idea. It's one thing that uh, this brokerage up here is kind of committed to doing and helping out the neighborhood. And so that's kind of one way of just getting your name out there and doing a service to the community that you work in and you live in. It's it's a great idea. So that's, that's one thing that we're doing up here. How about you, Andy? It's a very good idea. Uh, um, one thing I've ta- heard about is uh, brewery tours, actually. Um, a loan officer and an agent, and I think they throw in an insurance agent, and they're also um, call it, what they're going to call it Surly Brewing, which, Nate, I'm sure you know well. Um, yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, and I think for not very much money, you can take like up to 25 people on a tour, they get a drink coupon, they get a glass, they get this, they get that. And um, it's it's conversations. It's conversations about real estate. It's gonna make you be remembered. The stat that I keep driving home is 75% of people do not remember their agent six months after closing, which is yeah. crazy. And so this is a good way of staying in front of them, staying relevant, and coming up with kind of unique ways of uh, staying in front of them. Yeah, and that's a great way just to talk to people for, I mean, if you get 25 people there and they're bringing their spouse Mm -hmm. or a friend of theirs or something, like, that's a great way just to sit down and talk to 25 different people over the course of three hours. Like, how much is that publicity worth, you know? Like, that's that's super valuable. That's super cool. Um, Another event was a Saints game. Uh, Tickets Mm -hmm. are cheap, six bucks, seven bucks, and they brought in a food truck, you know, to defray that cost by four different people involved, it's not that much money. It's a really good idea, and people have a great time, and you're going to be remembered. Yeah, I've always kind of gone back to the fact, like, do something that you would have fun doing, and other people are going to feel the same way. Like, if you are super interested in hiking, have a community hike day. As I am. If you're, as you are, obviously. Um, if you're super interested in yoga, do a yoga session, like a free yoga session. Whatever your interest may be, like, it, it, whatever they meet may be, just like really commit to it. And there's other, there's going to be a lot of people that are interested in it as well. So as long as you just kind of commit to it and go. Um, it'll be a super fun event where you're committed to it and you like doing it and people want to work with their friends and who they're having fun with. So that's always a great idea to do something like that. Like your Saints game or your brewery tour. Those are great ideas. 
All right, folks, those are all great ideas. Go out and do it and uh, go get those listings. All right. All right. Have a good one, guys. All right, take care. Stay warm. Bye.